starting the day off with some English breakfast tea. Yay. Oh, and I've been wanting to show you guys this awesome little snow globe that I got from Home Goods. Oh my goodness, like back in like November. How cute is this guy? And there it is. It just stops before the last note. Drives me nuts. The breakfast of champs. Dun, dun, dun. What happens when you're lazy? Tea and pizza. Thanks, Whole Foods. Welcome to day 17. So today I am going to show you guys one of my favorite seasonal drinks that I love to have. And I usually start making this around, I would say, November. And I love drinking it through the cold winter months. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my mulled cider. Okay guys, so first we have to make the spice butter mixture. So I need a quarter cup of butter. Next we're gonna need a cup of brown sugar. Then we need half a tablespoon of cinnamon, quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves. And next, you can use a handheld mixer to mix this, or if you have a standing mixer, I'm just gonna use my whisk and get this all mixed together. And once it's all mixed together, I'm just going to put that in a jar like this and put it in the fridge so it can firm up. So we can put the lid on now. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge so it can firm up a bit until we're ready to use it. Next is the mold cider. And you're going to need four cups of apple cider, or I use apple juice. I like the unfiltered, that's the murky one, organic, yum yum. Four cups of that, but since it's just for me, I'm only going to make half, so I'm going to make two cups. And for my own personal taste, I prefer to not sweeten my cider because to me it's sweet enough. I don't like things super sweet. But at this point, if you do like very sweet, you can add in two tablespoons of brown sugar. But I'm going to skip that because it gets too sweet to me with the sugar from the actual butter mixture. So I'm going to add in, if you're making four cups, add in one cinnamon stick. I'm making two, so I'm going to try to break this bad boy in half. Boom, throw that in. And again, need a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna divide that in roughly half. And next is a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. Again, I'm gonna half that. And now we're gonna need five whole cloves. So I'm gonna put in three. Last you need zest of one orange. I don't have a zester. I'll use a grater to get some of the skin before it gets to the white of the peel so it's not bitter. But for today, I am just gonna peel off a little bit of the orange skin and throw it in, because we're gonna strain this afterwards anyways, after it's done boiling. I'm not 
doing the whole orange because I'm just making half a portion. So now that you have your cider all spiced and ready to go, you're gonna put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, simply reduce that and let it simmer for 30 minutes. I cannot tell you how freaking good it's gonna make your kitchen smell. Like, it smells wonderful. Like, the most natural, Christmassy, seasonal potpourri ever. Ah, oh, love it so much. I cannot wait until it's ready. Trying a little something different. Gone ahead and brewed some winter spice tea in my cup. And I got a little bit of the spice mixture here. I'm gonna add that in. Going in, people. It's good, you guys. It's a very mellow version of what's brewing over on the stove. Because the chamomile tea has a very mild apple flavor. And that comes through. And it's really good with the buttered spice mixture. Very comforting. Okay, guys. So, you know all those awesome soups that we've been ordering lately? This is one of the things that I love about it. Because these are so great for storing things like whether you do salad in a jar or if you have like hot soups and stews. It's just, I don't know, sometimes the round is more convenient than regular square Tupperware. And it's perfect in this case because I don't have, I have an iced tea pitcher, but I don't have anything that can hold hot liquids. So I'm actually going to put the cider in here. I have my strainer. So I'm just going to put that on the pot off of the stove, drain it in here. I don't have a way to set you guys up over by the stove so you can see. So I will be right back. Okay, so it's all strained. There you have it. This is about one cup here. And it's perfect because now it's got a lid and can go in the fridge until I'm ready to reheat this for the next cup. Now when everything is ready, you have your option here to add in one ounce of your favorite rum. So you can have hot buttered rum. It's not really an option for me right now. So just gonna pour in my cider. Gonna get a little scoop here of my butter mixture. So you guys remember that half a stick of cinnamon that I had? I'm gonna throw that in there. And also got this little cinnamon grinder. And a few bits of that. Spicy, yummy goodness in there. Oh my god, it's so delicious. It's spicy, it's got the orange flavor in there, the cider. It's just like every flavor you think of when you think comfort food. This is so perfect. I love grabbing a hot cup of this and curling up with a book in bed or by the tree. So let me know if you guys try it, if you like it. Um, let me know too if you try it with the rum. It's so good with the rum. Like seriously, warm your bones. Hot toddy perfection. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna go enjoy my mulled cider. See you later.